Put all your stuff away and check out for the day There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees Burns under my feet, won't you have a drink with me? Did I just come home from the gym, fall back asleep, and then now it's 10.30 and woke up for breakfast? Yes, I did. <laughs> but I keep, I keep saying that thing, that phrase in my head where it's like, oh, she must have needed it. I think I did. I mean, anyone getting up at that stupid time to go to the gym when they're not like out for the rest of the day? Don't really know why. I did it the other day because I was, um, because I was going to work. Fair enough. And I was on like a long shift, so it was the only time I could have really got a, like a workout in, other than going after my shift when I probably really couldn't be bothered. Um, this morning, Emmanuel was at work, and he woke up, and I was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna come with you. I'm gonna have like a really productive morning. Use these extra hours to get all this work done and all this stuff done." And then I fell back asleep. <laughs> but never mind. Um, it's Sunday. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. It doesn't, but I'm gonna have my breakfast because I am actually starving. I woke up and I was like, wow, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna have my breakfast. How aesthetically pleasing does that egg look? Sorry. I think I've done pretty well with that. But yeah, breakfast. Okay, I I promise I am gonna wash my hair today and shower. It is like later on in the afternoon. It just, I'm having one of them days where I just want to slump around in my own filth and just do nothing. I really, really am. Like, I've got no motivation to just go out and do anything. But anyway, I'm going to have some lunch, right? And I don't know why I got this, like, urge that I want to start eating soups. I think it's the winter. It's the weather. It has to be the weather. Absolutely has to be. But tell me why. <laughs> when I went to Aldi to pick up some soup the other day... I picked up a, it's the Bramwell's Chunky Lamb Soup. Tell me why this looks like a tin of dog food. And and I have a feeling that because obviously I've gone for Chunky Lamb Soup, that it's gonna look like dog food as well. I mean, could they not have made it any more appetizing? I mean, I know it's cheap. Actually, having said that, it's not that cheap. I can't remember exactly, well, I've just ripped the label. I can't remember exactly how much this was, but soup is not cheap anymore. Like, I thought soup would be like 30 pence. And I could have I could have sworn this was like a pound something from Aldi. And it's like a basic, I don't know. I'm gonna stop whinging and I'm gonna start making it. I'll show you what it looks like, cause like, I haven't opened it yet. But I've just got that feeling. It's not gonna be. Mm. It smells okay. We'll see, I guess. Half a can, 120 calories, 200, that's not too bad. Also, oh, I don't know whether to talk about this now or talk about it later, but I'm low key kind of wanting to start track my tracking my calories again. We'll talk about that later. We're gonna talk about it later in a proper little sit down discussion. But um, yeah, let's have some soup. I'll tell you what it's like, all right? I'll do a little mini review once I've cooked it. Right, got my bowl, it's cooked. I, doesn't smell too bad. I kind of feel like I I should probably get my soup maker out and start making my own. It's not that bad, actually, to be fair. It is quite nice. For a can of soup that looks like dog food, 
can't really go wrong but like i say it wasn't the cheapest i feel like is there an can you find out the price of stuff on from aldi on their website maybe let's have a look this was okay 99p which i guess isn't that bad but again for something like from aldi i feel like the prices of aldi stuff is just not what it used to be i kind of feel like aldi's not that comparable anymore to like go into other places having said that i'm saying this without any research whatsoever because i have not done like a full food shop in tesco's or anywhere else before for like the longest time so uh, i mean i i guess the prices of everything everywhere are going up but still like aldi used to be i'm gonna I'll, i'm gonna liken aldi to top shop kind of not really well kind of <laughs> listen hear me out top shop when i was a kid when i was a young kid like preteen top shop was like the primark of the shops it was so cheap and just like a little bit like a jumble set a little bit like primark right and then somewhere like somehow out of nowhere it started to get like more and more expensive until literally it was just like so expensive and just not like yeah just not what it used to be and i feel like aldi's kind of going that way because just the prices of things just aren't the same just not the same but the soup is good. Now I wonder if I could recreate this with my soup maker. I mean it looks like it's got potato, peas, carrots, lamb. Oh I don't know. I don't know. Hi Max. So this is my sister's cat Max. He's also a Bengal. He's a little bit like nervous around me. I think because first of all I smell like Billy. And second of all, I actually brought Marv over here once, which he hated, and he's kind of resented me ever since. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'm actually looking after Max for the weekend because my sister's away. Um, sorry for the terrible lighting. I'm using my phone. Um, but yeah, he generally just stays there and watches me. Watches me put his food out. I've tried like throwing throwing some things like it's, he likes these little springs. I don't know. I can't actually see one. They're probably all under the sofa. But he likes these little springs. Um, try throwing one of them for him. He's just not having any of it. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. He looks pretty angry though. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, get out of my house. <laughs> okay, wash my hair. As you can see, I've got wet hair. Uh don't know why I say these things where it's like, this is what I've done, but then it's like blatantly obvious. Unless I got caught in the rain, I've obviously washed my hair. Anyway, um, let's talk about what I said before. I feel like I made a mistake. I'm having a little bit of a weird time at the moment with my body image, with like just food. I, d I don't know. So obviously I go to the, like I've picked up going back to the gym, which is fine. Um, that is like, you know, I've done that. My eating habits have been a little bit all over the place. Some days have been fine. Like I would say probably like 50% of days are fine and normal and healthy. And then the other 50 are like, just like not, I can't even talk about it. Like I really can't even talk about it with some of the things that I eat. Um, which obviously for somebody who's wanting to like gradually lose weight is not working because how on earth um, is anyone supposed to lose weight when they're basically binging? I very briefly had a fleeting thought earlier that I should start counting calories again um, to try and get things under control and since saying that and since having a proper think about it i've decided no that's not the best thing for me i know what going down that route has got me in the past um and it is like really bad mental health so <laughs> i don't i'm kind of in this place where i just don't know what to do for the best like i feel like i've been in such a great place mentally with my food and body image for the longest time that like now I'm feeling like this, it's kind of like being almost overdue. Like, like oh, I've, I've felt good for too long. Now I've got to feel shit about myself because it's just been... Do you know what I mean? Like, heaven forbid that I should just be able to feel good about myself for like the rest of... For like the rest of time. So yeah, it's been a bit of a weird one recently. Um, but I think what I'm just going to do is... I'm going to go back to what I... No, um, 
makes me feel good, which is just making healthy choices, um, trying to keep things balanced. The only thing I'm gonna try and do differently now is I'm gonna try and make my portion sizes a bit smaller, just because obviously with me not like weighing things as such um, and not knowing the calorie content of things, which is fine. It can be a bit of a minefield knowing whether what you're actually eating is okay for you because of like how big a portion you're having. Um, so I feel like trying to decrease my portion sizes a little bit might help. I mean, things like the soups and things that I've had for lunch today, obviously fine. It's just a case of like snacking in between that I need. Like I, throughout my like whole journey with food and diet and exercise and everything, I've been very much a, if I've been on a diet, I do not snack. Um, that's just kind of been how it is because I know that if I snack, then like I just won't stop. <laughs> so like that's always been one of the restrictions that I've put on myself and I don't wanna do that because ultimately my journey is to try and heal my relationship with food and heal my relationship with just like healthy lifestyle. And I feel like if I were to just say to myself like, no, you cannot snack, then it's just gonna end to end up with me like binging and like falling off completely off the wagon again. But I don't know. I just need to try and work out. Is anybody like a nutrition therapist or something? Do they exist? Like can somebody like come and hypnotize me into having a normal brain and a normal relationship with food please? Because that would really, really help. I don't know if that even exists, but I'm kind of half thinking that I need a bit of therapy around it. I said it. I, th I just feel like I've battled for years and years with like food, my relationship with food, my like body image, constantly wanting to be smaller. Like I saw this, so I, if you don't know already, there's this like trend that was going around on TikTok where like people are asking, um, asking the partners really randomly how often do you think about the Roman Empire? And like, weirdly, guys are like, yeah, I think about it all the time. Something that they think about all the time. And I realized that my Roman Empire was wanting to lose weight. I made a little reel, I made a reel on Instagram about it, but essentially, for as long as I can remember, I can't think of one single day where I haven't thought about weight loss or wanting to change my body in some way. And like that, when I say for as long as I can remember, I'm talking about like, childhood. I'm gonna kind of roughly pinpoint it on from being like age 10 and above because I kind of feel like that's kind of the time where you start like caring more about your body image and how you're perceived by others and stuff like that so I kind of feel like it's like that kind of age. I can't think of a time where I didn't want to lose weight which is really really sad. Yeah I think I need to speak to someone about that but I don't even know how to go go about that and I don't really... Ugh. I've been, I've done CBT, I've done therapy and stuff before, like I know that some certain things work, but I have been to a couple of therapists in the past who really didn't help, Pro probably through no fault of their own, but like they just weren't a right match for me. Um, so I kind of feel like I need, I don't know, I don't know, I'm at a loss as to what to do at the minute. Yeah, I'm gonna dry my hair and then I'll come back in a second. Okay, my hair's kind of half dry, half not, but it'll have to do for now. Um, basically, what was I talking about? I kind of feel like I'm in a situation at the minute where I keep looking for the answer and I don't think the, the answer exists. And I kind of feel like I'm in this position where I just keep looking for something that's gonna help me be like this big monumental, like this is what helped me lose loads and loads of weight. <laughs> and, for example, right, I was watching a girl the other day and she has one of those foldable walking pads under her desk and I've got a standing desk and I was like, I need one of those. And then I'll walk on it all the time and I'll drop loads and loads of weight really quickly. Not that I want to like do that. Uh, and then it'll just be so much easier to get my steps in um, and this will be the answer. This will make me happy. And like those things are like three, 400 quid and like I know it's not gonna be the answer I go to a gym most days there are treadmills there why do I need one at home so I can like obsessively walk on it that's not healthy either um and then like I buy things like random vitamins which are like fat burners or metabolism metabolism boosters it's all bollocks I know it is but I'm still looking for the thing that 
like I feel like it's gonna help me um and I don't think I'm ever gonna find it so yeah I don't really know what else to say on the matter um I'm not gonna start counting calories because I feel like that is just gonna make me worse and more obsessive I'm just gonna try to do better I think tomorrow is Monday for me I mean not that a new thing has to start on a Monday it's just coincidental that it's just coincidence it's just coincident coincidental I can't say the word <laughs> it's just coincidental that tomorrow is Monday for me and I'm gonna start afresh see how it goes <laughs> I don't know um but yeah I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I feel like I've talked to your heads off um about basically I've just whined for the last like five six minutes so yeah anyway I'm gonna end this video here I was gonna say let me know any advice in the comments I feel like this this isn't your guys's problem this is my problem so like don't feel like you need to try and like answer like give me the answer anything just like I don't know I'm gonna end the vlog here before I start rambling off again so thank you so much for watching um I will see you in the next one bye guys Baby, let me love you, let me love you.